Hi, I'm Grant Leatherwood with Oklahoma Living Magazine. On this episode of Table Talk, we've got the scoop on a tasty shop in Stillwater. Blue Spruce serves up handmade gelato and sorbet, craft coffee, and loose leaf tea. So let's see what makes this place so cool. Colby came up with the idea when he was in college. At first, I thought it was a joke. And then conversations about it started to get more serious. And about a year into our marriage, he said, I think it's time to do this. The idea really was centered around creating this experience in this atmosphere that was kind of the culmination of this mystical trip that I took as a child going to the mountains and being in a cabin. And it was pairing the elements of coffee and gelato and fitting them into this space. And it just seemed like too cool of an idea and a concept to not try it. Blue spruce is a tree that is unique in its own environment. So we are, as a business, we're also unique in the business environment of Stillwater. So it's fun being different. It's fun kind of having our own originality in the community. We felt we could do gelato in a healthier way than some of the other traditional ice cream options. It's a third of the fat and half the calories of traditional ice cream. Um, and then we use all organic ingredients, so it was an awesome opportunity for us to try and make ice cream a little bit healthier. We have gelato and sorbet. Sorbets are dairy-free, so they're water-based, and then gelatos are milk-based. We have 16 flavors in the case. At least five will always be sorbets, and we try in the summer when the fruits are fresh to do half of the case, which would be eight. So we start with bare raw ingredients. We scale it out depending on the recipe. Then we put it into the machine that cooks it for the first about eight minutes of the process. And then it flips down into the bottom of the machine and it freezes it. Then we blast freeze it, which is just means it freezes it really quickly and pretty hard. And then it just goes right into the freezer and it's ready to serve. Interestingly, when we first opened, coffee was a part of the model, but I didn't realize how much I actually was into it and how much I enjoyed it. I developed this taste for this experience of discovering how delicious coffee can be when all of the steps in the journey are done to the level of quality that's trying to maximize that cup's flavor. It's just fun to, to share coffee with people and for them to see how different it can be and, yeah, delightful. My favorite thing about having a business in this town is providing an atmosphere and an environment for people to come and just be. In our nature, we love to serve and to create a space that is filled with people and joy and peace and love is really at the heart of why we do this and why hospitality is a really important piece. It's been really rewarding to see a dream that Colby had come to fruition and to be able to come alongside him in that. It's not anything that I would have ever dreamed or imagined that I'd be doing, and I love it. And I'm so thankful that we've been able to do it together. We, we never did this for the money. I mean, it was all for, let's make something, let's share it with someone. And for them to love it, makes it all worth it. So if you need a spot to chill out or a place to warm up, check out Blue Spruce in Stillwater. I'm Grant Leatherwood with Oklahoma Living Magazine, and we'll see you next time on Table Talk.